Mexican food, you like Spanish food, well guess what, I got some for you. And here is it, and here it is. Hola Senora! It's a Spanish dish, it's a Spanish meal, and yeah, cold soups aren't a thing. I know, right? I, you expect soups to be really hot, but nope! Not in this case in Spain. So, guess what? We're gonna learn how to make a cold soup. So, first things first, we need to get a lot of veggies because it's something we're drinking cold and what's more refreshing and healthy? Veggies. So, first things first, we got this. It's a pepper. Red pepper or green pepper. Honestly, I don't like green pepper. It just ruins the overall color. So, red pepper is brighter. Gotta, gotta have a bright color on for a bright soup. So, next thing, we have a tomate. Tomato. So I already have one that's peeled and sliced. You can slice them into quarters, but no, no more smaller af after quarters, or else it's just going to be watery all over the place, and the tomatoes will lose all that taste. So here's the peppers. You just roughly chop them. No one's going to care about the presentation of these peppers because they're all going to be blended anyways. So, all peppers in. Tomatoes are very important to a. Gaspacho, which is what the soup is called. So you're gonna slice this in half so it'll blend easier. Trust me, the blender will thank you later if you slice these even smaller. So I'm just chucking these into the bowl so the, the water will start seeping into those peppers and then we'll toss them later, okay? All right, tomatoes are in. My hands covered in tomato juice. All right, what's next? We're not done here, people. We're not done yet. What is this? That is garlic. And the board is full of tomato juice. Let's get that real clean. In goes the garlic. And then next, we got some cucumber. You can peel them, but I want to keep the skin on. So what we're going to do is just slice into thick chunks. Not thick. Stand these all up. Keep the seeds in as well. We need the water to bring liquidizing so the soup won't be a paste. You know, actually like have the consistency of a soup. It doesn't look like a lot of cucumbers, but you don't need a lot because these are thick pieces anyways. Spring onions, so move this top. The spring onions here will help fight off any potential like nasty stuff that might end up on your veggies if you didn't wash them. All right, get those spring onions in there. And who cares about fancy slicing? This is all gonna get blended anyway, so I don't care about fancy slicing. One more ingredient before we dress this. We have some cilantro. And you would say you would use basil, but that's Italian. Why would you use an Italian herb? On a Spanish dish. Come on, have some logic. So the cilantro comes from any place. Just rip these stalks. Don't waste, don't throw away these stalks. Okay, get the leaves. Bunch these up. And just tearing them by hand is a lot better than cutting this with a knife. Trust me, you'll know what I mean. Okay, let's dress this now. And first thing we need is some salt. Then we got some pepper. So now we have some heat. Now we're gonna give this a good coating of oil. I'm using grapeseed here, but you can always use olive or canola or any other oil you fancy. This is maple balsamic vinegar. Now you would normally put dry, uh, sherry vinegar or dry sherry. Here's the thing. Doesn't exist in Canada. I looked it up online. It doesn't exist. So instead we're using this maple balsamic. Just to have some Canadian influences. You don't need a lot or else you're gonna be have a, you're gonna have a really sour soup. Just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven drops. You toss this. Use your hands if you want, but I don't want to get my hands dirty, so I'm just going to use the salad tosser. 
One last ingredient. These are breadcrumbs, but use croutons if you want. I'm using breadcrumbs because they're smaller, they're crunchier, and they're a lot easier to blend and incorporate with than if you were to use a really crusty soft bread. So now the dressing is making the breadcrumbs wet, which means they'll start binding everything together. Now the thing is fully dressed. Now we gotta, all we gotta do is to leave this to sit for at least half an hour, then we can blend this. And I'll see you in half an hour. Okay, half an hour has passed. We can blend this thing now. Now before we blend this, just a little quick extra flavor. You can always add a little more dressing. For us, we like to have this kind of extra dressing, so just one tablespoon, sprinkle that over. Fortunately, I have a small blender. This is all I have, a small cup. It's one of those travel blenders, because I don't really blend a lot of stuff. So, this is the first time we're using an extremely small blender, so you won't see this entire bowl blend be blended. The rest of it will be blended off camera. You gotta fill up to the halfway point. Obviously, if your blender is a lot bigger than mine, just dunk the whole thing and just be careful with your portions, control your portions. You need to give the, the ingredients inside the blender space because when you blend them, they will rise and if you just have them full, fully up to max, it's gonna go everywhere. 300 meter, milliliters for my blender here. And you make sure you have an even distribution of every single ingredient. Now, I'm gonna put some liquid in this. So a little twist of pepper. We're gonna add some water. So this will actually liquidize. Unless you want it nice and chunky, but I kinda like it refined. So we get some water, cold water in, not hot, cold. This to the blender. Lid on. Towel. towel helps to keep it locked, not the ground, so fold this in half, fold to this, to the quarter, over, and then we're going to start off gently, okay? A few taps. And now you go and give it hell. Finish it off. So sprinkle the basil. A cold soup that legit exists. 